So yeah, you've once again found yourself in the self-proclaimed only Twitch TTRPG stream that allows you, the viewer, to significantly impact the stories being told on your screens. And you can do it for free. In order to do so, you must spend fate chips. These are the loyalty points you get just by watching, following, hosting, subscribing, or even just engaging with us in chat. You then use those fate chips to heal your favorite players, summon in custom items, or make the players say silly things. Uh, you do see double net, and you will all night. <laughs> all night long. <laughs> Tonight, we're playing Rifts by Palladium Books. If you're unfamiliar with Rifts, it's a futuristic version of Earth where war and natural disasters devastated the Earth's population. Then magic ley lines that crisscrossed the, crisscrossed the Earth ripped open Rifts to other dimensions in time and space, allowing all manner of creatures to uh, repopulate the planet. Of course, we're not on Earth, Rifts Earth right now. We're on a different planet. And joining us tonight, we will have me... Playing Rungus, the Blue Sea Water Warlock, which is me down there. Next, we have Armand playing Dwyer, the human slash Blue Sea Leyline Walker. Hey, do, do you do you pull the the divider out of your holiday popcorn tin like I do? I need it all. Just curious. He's a monster, demon. We also remember the use those with demons. Yeah, <laughs> kill drops. Yes, kill the demon. Kill demon. <laughs> uh, also, Kill fire. We have Erm Slayer playing Ermadin, the Dwarven King, and Drunken or Ad Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we have Adam playing Billy Wildstar, the Human Ranger. Yo yo. And. We have Toby playing Please, the cactus person, professional gambler. That's me. <laughs> cactus. Cactus. And Jimothy, Please. the dog. And Jimothy, the dog. We always have some animal in every stream, be it real or robotic. We've got two in this one. And Mr. McGuffin hanging out in the, uh, the vehicle. Okay, so we left off. Uh, you guys were uh, kind of hanging out in uh, uh, Bump Burbledore's uh, uh, hallways. Some, some word in there somewhere. So, uh, you guys split up, went different directions after you entered in the main uh, hall. And... Uh, uh, Rungus and Klees went one way and ended up um, finding a bunch of traps. Uh, they worked really hard to get into this room that was on a, uh, a spinning staircase. Uh, and um, Rungus could not hold his grip with the staircase uh, basically careening around in a circle and, and hitting him from the top and injecting him down a slide that shot him out back out front. For the purpose of this episode, he will be out there and unconscious. He hit his head real hard. Uh, and then, the other group, Billy, Dwyer, and Ermadin, started to investigate a room when they heard the screams of their friend, from down the hallway. And we will start with you guys. Uh -oh, I think I lost audio. Just gonna go search the room. Let's go check it out. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm already gone! Yoing! <laughs> I'm already heading there! <laughs> Don't you touch a hair on his scaly head! Alright. Uh, yeah, kind of move you guys to uh, um, where you want to. Which direction would I have run um, towards the scream? Like, I, I would have yep. gotten to here. Where, where would I have gone from there? Uh, you were in the right way, heading down that other hallway. Yep. Down here? Yeah. 
what you just oh i see uh, i see yeah and then this room has had a bunch on? of armaments and stuff along the walls i didn't see any of that i just kept on going and billy ran out of the wall all right so where are you where are you now really billy <laughs> all right so you guys go through the doorway that's right here Jimothy would uh, stop them as the, before they go into the staircase. Okay, because he's he's over there. What would Jimothy do? Oh, he, he can just talk. He would say, "Stop the staircase, please." Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'll never get used to that talking dog. Uh, bark. That's <laughs> don't condescend to me. I can't stay mad at you. Good boy. Good boy. So, uh, so Jimothy's on the landing outside the door. Yeah. Yeah. Before the staircase. All right. So peering through the doorway, you guys can see Jimothy obviously sitting there uh, or standing there. Uh, there's stairs that lead down uh, to your right and then up to the left. And uh, you can see Cleese standing at the top of the stairs to the left. Hey, what, what, what happened? I, I, heard, uh, I heard the sweet, sweet screams of my best friend. The, the stairs are trapped. He uh, fell. <gasps> Is he the trap right? still active? seems so. It seems like it's on a swivel. So. They find some way to jam it, we might be able to get it across, but it sounds like he fell into the hole and took him out somewhere. I mean, we gotta, we gotta go find him. It's what he would do. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, could I use um? Can I use my trap, my trap detection to see if I can glean information about the trap? Absolutely. Let's see, I have thirty-seven percent plus five, so it's. The plus five is when you go up. That's just there to let you know how much it goes up when you level. Okay. All right. 67. And what was your uh, percentage again? Um, 37%. Okay. Uh, I mean, you know enough to tell that it's a pretty well-crafted trap, but you can't see anything uh, as far as the mechanics of it to be able to try to, to do anything about it. Uh, and, and the nature of it is that it's it's like a carousel staircase. So as soon as you go past the halfway point, it drops and the bottom come, flips upside down and spins basically in a circle like a pinwheel. But it only goes one direction, it doesn't go both. far end of it and they weigh more than me I could be able to, I would be able to cross it yes uh -huh. hey, Dwyer stand on the end of that staircase Next, oh, right, 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 right in front of Jimothy didn't you guys just say not to do that uh, it goes the other way <laughs> oh okay well you know what if it, this this goes poorly at least I'll, I'll be, I, 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 have an, I have an idea of how we can find it one person that I'd want to be with better than you guys is this right here or you... i think so <laughs> I don't know. 
I want to test the staircase. <laughs> Uh, so you put your put your foot down and start to apply some weight. Uh, it seems like it shifts a little bit, but it seems it seems pretty stable. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly quickly cross the staircase back. All right, it's a little wobbly, and uh, and Dwyer, you feel it kind of like shifting underneath of you, but uh, but yeah, you're able to make it back down to the landing. Okay. All right, I have I have this tracer. We can drop it down the pit and see where it ends up, and then we'll be able to find where where Rungus went. Let's do it. All right, you uh, you take the tracer, you drop it down. Uh, what kind of monitoring device do you have for that? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Whatever comes with the arrow. What well, comes with what? Whatever, whatever comes with the arrow. It's probably back in the truck. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so I got radio. I got the radio stuff back there. What I could say is probably uh, Jimothy could probably pick up on the signal if you want to uh, make sure that he's also tuned into that that frequency. Yeah. It would make sense for you to do that. He was like a $9 million dog. Right. Got to get your money's worth out of it. So, um, so yeah, you're, you know, there's like a little, uh, 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 on, on Jimmy V's back, like a little thing pops up and there's kind of like a little display that just kind of shows like a general, like, um, uh, a very crude looking type map. Uh, and it just kind of shows that, um, that Rungus is just outside in the courtyard. He's okay. Can't, can't, like, scan him? Is it that smart? What? Can it, can it tell if he's okay? Um. Yes. It tells me that he's fine. And you shouldn't worry. <laughs> that was so convincing. <laughs> Do I even need to roll anything to tell if he's lying? <laughs> uh, do you have anything that would help with that? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, you have no reason not to believe him. I mean, I could dominate him and then make him tell me the truth. That is true. <laughs> but seeing as that's uh, interpersonal conflict, I'm going to kind of lean against that. Um. God, I yeah. want to have to shut off your magic for a day. <laughs> you want to shut off my magic? Just give me some more of those mushrooms you took out of your butt. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, I'm going to slip over to Ermadin. Do have those? <laughs> Ermadin. Yeah, I so, uh, searching the room. All right. Uh, so what you see in here is is this basically uh it seems to be. Uh, kind of like a lounge uh, for you know the 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 what you presume would be where the guards and stuff would kind of hang out. Uh, there's a uh, you know like remnants of a uh, food and drink that looks like it was half eaten and stuff on the tables. Uh, and uh, in the uh, crates along the side wall, uh, there's uh, you know just kind of like a, a bunch of uh, supplies. Uh, sheets and uh, and uh, uniforms and things like that. Uh, and then on this side over here, there's like a like a curtain there. Oh, hold on, my audio is being crap again. Can't hear anything. Let's see if I can switch. There we yes, go. Yes. That's better. These uh, earbuds I have are dying. But, uh, okay. Yeah. What about this desk? Uh, so the desk, uh, it's actually probably the more neater things in the room. Uh, a little bit more organized. Um, 
it looks like on the table there was a, a guy that started to uh, write, like he was writing a letter. And it's like, you know, uh, dear auntie. And then immediately after that, there's kind of just like a line, like where they might have uh, stopped, or like dropped with their the pen that they're writing with, which is still on the table. Okay. Yeah. That's it. So, so the general feeling that you get is that something happened and something happened kind of in a hurry. Yeah. It's just like I saw a map and then a scroll and I thought it was just like, oh boy, treasure hunting. <laughs> but I'll go through the curtain. All right. In the curtain. I'll reveal that. Uh, it's a little bunkhouse room. So, um... Oh, sweet. Yep. Some of the beds are, are messy, as if they, you know, somebody was in them and just kind of quickly jumped up and exited. But... Okay. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's uh, there's some, some foot lockers there. What's in them? Um, you'd have to break them open. Or Shoes. pick locks or something like that. <laughs> I'm up for any of that. Okay. Um, what is that lock picking for? Break picking the lock or? Um, yeah, there should be. I think there's something like that. That's long. I'm looking at the character sheets. I don't even remember what you guys got anymore. I have things not like that. Hmm. I can. You never struck me up much up. as a criminal type. Yeah, just like the explosive. Yeah. You know. How are you going to be a criminal when you just change the laws to suit whatever it is you're doing? You're king. <laughs> you're a criminal. Because I'm the king. Kings can't be criminals. Duh. Like that, that's my point. Yeah. Let's open these locks. Right. You break the law, you just change the law. You're like, that's not the law. Speaking that's of breaking like laws, I'm going to break the laws of this lock with my hammer. All right, I'm just gonna smash him open. <laughs> Breaking the law. <laughs> I fucking love that. All right. I gotta write that Let's down. Let's see here then. <laughs> Where's my percentile dice? Those are my great deciders. Okay, you bust these things open. Uh, you're able to find some gold. There's some extra gold in there. Uh, about a hundred pieces of gold. Oh boy. Uh, mostly other personal oh, add items that and stuff. Billions. Yeah. Sorry, right, what else? Uh, just like personal items and stuff. Uh, general hygiene stuff. A lot of uh, like uh, beard oils and uh, nope. personal undergarments and things. Nope, don't need any of that. <laughs> I could always use some more undergarments. I, sir, am a king. Oh my, man, it pulls in a My pole. garments are all shiny all the time. Yeah, there's nothing in there that's better than what you have back home. Yeah. Per my armor. Uh, which part is it? Cle yes, cleanse. Mm -hmm. Everything's always clean on me. <laughs> Alright, well, if that's the case, I'm just gonna head on out and head up the hallway that I haven't gone up. Alright. So... I don't know how far I can go. You tell me when to stop, uh, I guess. Go there. I'm going to switch back over to the other group and see if they're um, wrapping up on the other side. Because uh, it would take a while to kind of search the room and do all that stuff. So they might catch yep, up yep. by then. I got gotcha. you. All right. Other group. Dwyer, did you, uh, did, did, do you know if Ermadin ever found out that you jizzed all over his suit? There's no time for that. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. It's just, you know, Rungus was sitting next to me. His <laughs> leg brushed up against mine on the bus. Yeah, you didn't have to, it didn't have to be an upper decker. No friendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> Look, do you guys think that this relationship between me and Rungus is ever going to, like, take off? Like, is it just like, am I wasting my time? Do you think that he even sees well, me like that? Maybe if you back to health be there for That's him a... when he wakes up. 
I need to be there for him when he wakes up. We need to hurry up and get done with or whatever it is we're doing here, because I need to be I need to be with him. Go right. We can follow the You guys are so smart. We need to get through this trap first. Yeah, yeah, let's get through this. I think we're through. We're, we're go, we, we can go this way. Follow the, oh, follow, yeah. Follow the tracer. So which way are you going? Uh, uh, we're going to follow Jim at the... Who's a, I assume he's following the tracer. Okay. So you're going to go out, out the door there? Yeah. All right. Uh, so this is the door um, that Ermden blew up, open when you guys first w uh, walked up. Uh, oh, this looks like an Ermidan hole if I've ever seen one. You've seen a lot of Ermidan holes? <laughs> yeah, it's just big. It's what? gaping. <laughs> What's that even supposed to mean? <laughs> what? You, you, you interpret that however it's, you want. Not even here. Oh, you thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I suspected somewhere Ermidan was protesting. Yeah, Vito. V <laughs> Vito. I'm sorry, did you say summon Danny DeVito? <laughs> That's not going to make this any better. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Says, <laughs> so when you guys walk out, uh, you, you you get to the edge of the um, uh, the, the uh, ledge there where the guardrail is. Uh, and you can look down and you actually see uh, Rungus just kind of laying there. Uh, give me the perception rolls. Two. Ah, come on. Mouse. <laughs> I'm too concerned with seeing my beloved lying Wait, there lifeless. Rungus! Yeah. Oh, I rolled twice? Oh, so, awesome. You're super. So, right? yeah. Well... <laughs> Rungus, uh, my you beloved. Can see that he's breathing. Can I roll a uh, identify fruits and plants to see if he's a vegetable? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you fail the roll. <laughs> I got a 20. The Terry Shibo episode. <laughs> uh, wait, this should be out of a 20 out of what? What's your percentage? 60. 60? Okay. You're pretty confident he's not a fruit or vegetable. Whew. Close one, guys. I'm gonna um You however are. Like dangle on the <laughs> edge. <laughs> uh, Rongos! Rongos, can you hear me? He's breathing, guys. He's I can see he's breathing. Are you hurt? Do you want a raw fish? Uh, I think he's unconscious. He must be really hurt. I mean, he's gotta be unconscious because if, uh, I said raw fish. No response. Is there, um, how far down is he from where me, like, me, we're standing? Um, it's probably like, probably about a hundred feet. It's pretty, pretty far down. Thinking what I'm thinking? I jump. I've already Aim thought for the bushes. I am <laughs> um, have, how, how far down was it? About 100 feet. 100 feet? I got 50 feet of lightweight rope. As soon as you say lightweight rope, uh, Dwyer jumps over the side of the ledge and uses levitation to float safely down uh, to be next to Rungus. <laughs> Because that's that's what we're doing now. Oh my god! Thank God you have levitation. <laughs> oh, I was gonna use my spelunking skill. Yeah, I have a I have a hundred foot rope. Spelunking too, and I really I really want to use That'd that. Be a good but, opportunity. You know. I also have climb rope, no which is I will separate. use my hundred foot rope and climb down. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a climb rope check. Are you climbing or are you spelunking? I have climb rope. I'm climbing rope. <laughs> Not his rope. His rope's only 50 feet. I'm using mine. <laughs> Mine's 100. I'm also using your 100 foot rope. <laughs> All right. It's still a little too far for me to fall. You tie off the rope. Uh, uh, Dwyer, you get down there way faster than the other two. 
Jimothy does not know how to climb rope, so he'll just stay up there and keep going. Hmm. Can I describe what they see as as they as they get down there? Can you describe? Yes, <laughs> please do. <laughs> as as you get down to the uh, the the bottom level here, you see um, Dwyer placing uh, Rungus's meaty paw in his meaty paw, and he just puts his other other just meat mitten over top of his and just goes, "It's gonna be okay. Don't you worry. We're gonna get you the best doctors." You're, you're never gonna have to worry about anything. You're always gonna be here. I'm not gonna leave you. I don't care if you can never walk again. You can't talk. I'm gonna be there. We're gonna make you need to do this. It's gonna be okay. Well, I think he's just like knocked out, man. I think he's okay. I think he's all right. Is, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I would say probably he will start to wake up in about I'd say an hour and six minutes. He'll probably start to wake up. <laughs> Uh, due to the stress of hearing that and not wanting to wait that long before you see Rungus again, uh, your form starts to feel unstable, and you you kind of go through this little uh, mini seizure, and then you go back into your human form. <laughs> Oh, guys, no, no, no! I can't take it. Don't take this away from me. Don't. Please tell me the armor shrank with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, that would be funny to watch. Who around. are you? Uh, uh, I'm fucking pathetic. Is who I am. God. Thanks for the glitch, Damn BG. It. Damn you, stupid fish! <laughs> Damn you, fish! Ah. Guys, I'm going. I need I need some time to think. And Dwyer's just gonna uh he's gonna walk over to this bridge and he's just gonna sit there, dangle his feet off the edge, and stare at the water underneath. Go back flip. <laughs> <laughs> what do I look like Spider Man? Dwyer man, we gotta carry on, dude, because uh we don't see this through. We're going to get toasted, and he's going to get toasted. What's the point? I don't think any of us want to be vampire food or vampires. You're right. Oh, I'm... I'm the last I'm thing I'd place. want... <laughs> the last thing I'd want is to be stuck immortal like this. Disgusting. I just put some like sticks and, and branches and stuff on top of them, try to disguise them a little bit. Kind of sticks out. Maybe we could uh, look through his pack and put some a blanket over him or something, just make him comfortable for now, but hide him too. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't have anything that I can use. Uh, is there anything like lying around that we can use, like foliage uh, or real anything? Quick though, everybody roll a d20. Whoever gets the highest gets good devils, uh, XP Ooh. boost. 14. I got a nat 20. He actually did it twice. No, no, the first one didn't take. I see it now. I think one was a XP bonus and one, one, one was a drop. You haven't gotten that far yet. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Where's Armadin? Oh, he's not going to be included. All right. So what did everybody get? Two. Fourteen. Twenty. Alright. The twenty gets the XP boost. The two Yay. gets the XP drop. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, good devil. Thanks, Thanks good, good devil. devil. <laughs> 
All right. Um. Uh, at this, uh, Rungus kind of starts to and and roll around a little bit, and then he grabs his head. Um, I I take a um. I take the like the cloak hood. And I try to put it over my face as much as possible to hide my ugly, disfigured, disgusting human f- frame. And I just are, are, <coughs> are you are, are you? Okay? Oh, yeah, but you're you're you again. Oh, you noticed? I did. Yeah. Oh. Well. Yeah. That, that happened. Well, I thought it was just because I hit my head really hard. Super great. But you're really you, and he like touches your face with his finger. <sighs> you. Stop <laughs> oh, it's okay with you guys. I'm just gonna go wait in the truck. I'm not feeling too good now. Yeah, you go. Go on. Wait in the truck. Don't, don't look. I'll um. I don't want to be seen. I'll, I'll I'll be by the radio though. If you guys need anything, just, just give me a call. I, I I think I figured out how to work that thing. Down the button. <laughs> that's all you got. That's all you got to do. Oh, push Hold down the button. button. After I'm done talking. Oh, you sweet, sweet prince. <laughs> Alright, well, you guys have good luck. And he gets up and starts to walk over to the truck. It's kind of wobbling a little bit here and there. Alright. There you guys are standing there by yourselves. Can we uh, climb back up? Or can we explore over that, uh... See what goes... It's, it's across the way? That's where you guys came in. That is where we... Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go back up to... Probably go try to meet up with Armslayer. Or King Armor did. Whatever the dwarf's name is. Someone slayed King Armor did? What? Maybe. I shouldn't be using that voice. <laughs> All right. Dwyer reluctantly climbs up the rope. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Guys, I hope you're ready for Dwyer to be. Super, super <laughs> fucking bummed for the rest of this session. All right, I'm gonna. You guys are just like heading back to where Ermadin is. Mm-hmm. All right, I think so. I'm gonna move you guys over there for now and uh, continue with him for a minute. All right, Ermadin. Let's adjust our map here a little bit. Here we go. And let's reveal the hallway here. So as you get up there, uh, at the end of the hallway, you see a dead body on the floor here uh, of one of the uh, dwarves. I'm I'm gonna drink. Be like, poor brother. 
And then I'm going to search his body. All right. Uh, <laughs> he's one of the guardsmen. So, you know, he doesn't have a lot on him at the moment other than, you know, his, his uh, axe is on the ground. He's in armor. But it's the standard uh, uh, Burbledore uh, uh, guardsman outfit. What do you, is there anything you're looking for specifically? Not at the moment. What's at the end of the hall? Uh, so it continues down, and um, it makes a uh, like a bend. It looks like it, it goes from like a like a like a nice polished stone area to something a little bit more rough. Ah. Uh, yeah, I can sort of see that. And then I guess that's a doorway to the top, and then obviously steps going down. Yeah. And there's another doorway over here. Oh, I see. I see. Well, we're going to go up, uh, search this doorway here. All right. And I'm going to drink some more just because I want to drink some more. Makes sense. Yep. All right. Bam. Ah, so in here, um, there's um, this. This room looks a little bit more uh, organized, uh, a little bit more elegant, a little bit more extravagant. Um, <clears throat> there's a big sword uh, sitting on display there. Uh, pretty big for what a dwarf would would normally carry. Okay. Uh, but it's sitting on top of a desk. Hey. That's rude, Mr. Sir. That's a compliment. <laughs> rude. If any and the people who told me that dwarves weren't organized were the ones that were the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Oh, um, there. Uh, there. You better hope. You, you better hope we don't pass a mirror. Dwyer is gonna be so <laughs> so pissed. <laughs> Uh, and then there's also another door at the, uh, the back end of the room. Another door in here. Opposite of uh, the desk. Okay. I see there's some crates and such. There are. Eh. I'm bored with them. I'm going to check the door. Okay. Inside <clears throat> is bed. Uh, with another oh, desk boy. and some drawers. Um, uh, despite what it looks on the map, this is a little bit more extravagant. There's some very fine uh, sheets and everything on this bed. Uh, you can tell whoever was in this room uh, was important. All right. Well, let's check the desk for anything important. All right. Um, what is your what's your PB score? Probably zero. <laughs> be very unfortunate to have a zero. Oh, PB. sad PP. Sad PP. Yeah, let me double check the PPs. Always, you should. Hey, everybody! Before you leave your house, you should check your PP. And what does PP stand for? Physical prowess. Thank you. Penis. penis. Just for, just <laughs> oh, for our here. Yeah. Uh, twelve huh. is my PP. Okay. Give me a D twenty <laughs> roll. Hey, thanks for the Reese uh, Rigatoni pony. Oh, yeah, thanks. Of course, we're gonna Tony Pony subs when we're talking about pee pee. You know, I mean, I would do mine if we were talking about pee pee. Roll for pee pee, please. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, rolled me. What a strong stream. 
<laughs> oh yeah, PP roll. You throw those in the oven, you know, 450 for, you know, 10 minutes. Oh, they crisp up so nicely. Good, good old PP roll. So you Oh yeah, pizza pieces. Uh, so you go to uh, reach for the drawer and and start to pull them. Uh, as you do, you feel the handle kind of pull out more than the drawer for a second, and it tips you off. Something you remember. The history of Brubledor is that these guys are infamous trap makers. And you instantly step aside, and all the drawers just shoot out from the where they're emplaced into the uh, the desk frame and smash into the wall behind. And you see that, that the front of the drawers are actually made very uh, poorly and that there were spikes in it to actually jut out and stab anybody who got impaled by these things. But you right. rightfully dodged. <laughs> Silly dwarves. Then I'm going to drink some more. <laughs> Uh, but you do see inside uh, there is a uh, a large uh, uh, bag sitting inside uh, behind where the drawers were. All right, what's in the bag? Uh, inside the bag is uh, a, a several like uh, fine crafted uh, uh, stone figurines looking like, um, you know, different kinds of animals. There's like a, a dog. There's um, a horse. There's um, an elephant. Uh, but very, very fine craftsmanship. Any symbols on them? Uh, there's a couple symbols, yeah. Runes? On the bottoms. Anything makes sense? Um, do you have uh, magic lore? I have lots of things. Probably not that, though. Lore. Loop. Lore. Demons and monsters, so no. No, no magic lore. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, other than recognizing that they, they're probably magic. Uh, or ancient. Some kind of ancient uh, lost language, possibly. All right. Well, I'll put them back in the bag and stash them All on. Right. Um, by this point, the group starts uh, managing their way up the hallway to where the... Uh, Dead bodies are, or dead body is. All right, you said uh, dog, horse, elephant. Yes. Ah, dead body. It's a short one. <laughs> hey, hey, that's rude, Mister Sir. It's my one my brother can. Yeah, I'm shaking my fist up in the sky to you, Mr. DM. Ah, good devil got our uh, this broadcaster has intended for this for mature audiences. He's trying to make the point that there's not a mature one right. of us. <clears throat> I mean, he's not wrong. Wait, hold on. I'll contest that. I think I'm pretty mature. <laughs> yeah, and I get off my lawn kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my whiskey again? You say you were premature. I've seen his lawn. You don't want to go on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a mature person's lawn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you guys see, see this body. It looks like it's been moved since its uh, uh, demise. Uh, you see the door to the north here is open. And you can hear some some noise coming from in there. Get ready to blast it. And actually, I'm going to reveal this one at it. 
If I must. I ready fire. Jabari, you've lost your will to live. Why don't you go first? <laughs> <laughs> Check for traps. <laughs> I'll, sure, I guess. I'll, I'll go first. Can I assist and use my trap detection? Sure. What are you guys checking for? Where? Like, where? What are you doing? Or are you, like, just going around everywhere? Just kind of general, like, sweep. Yeah, I guess we'll... Like, we'll, by the we'll, steps, we'll by the door, like... Those, like four tiles in particular like the one with the dead body okay. on it so like right here yeah and then I'll, I'll i'll stand on the, the the couple top steps here while they're looking around there just to and then look yeah closer. like yeah. The, the two straight ahead from me okay uh yeah go give me a roll 16 what's your percentage it is i think the tab won't help and got for control shift T. Um, it is 37%. Okay. Uh, you do a pretty thorough investigation of this area uh, in a pretty uh, pretty quick amount of time, actually. Um, there's nothing that you can find in this immediate vicinity. Seems very clear. Okay. Do I walk through the door yet? Yeah, you can walk through the door now. Hey. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? That's the guy Chill. who asked him. Hey. <laughs> what's up? Not much. You know. Hey, uh, Rungus got hurt. He's back at the uh, the vehicle. Nah. Dwyer uh, didn't look so good. Yeah, but his wounds are physical. Mine are slightly more. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can worry about you both later. Go on, let's go. We've got dwarves to see and find. Oh, oh, crap. Two more brothers. Cheers, cheers. Drink some yeah, more. Amid two statues there, you you walk up the, this to this other landing, and and there's two giant statues on the floor uh, below them. Wait, is it up or down? That one's up. What? I thought we always dug down. Or do this? Huh. Yeah, right. And I thought I knew dwarves being a dwarf. <laughs> Right that time. Some dwarves go both ways. Mm. <laughs> you haven't seen a lot of lady dwarves around. <laughs> That's because most can't tell the difference. <laughs> the, the beards look the same. Uh, so at the end of this hallway, you see a pair of double doors, which I didn't reveal very well. Double doors? Wasn't there another door? Uh, there is a another door. So the, this hallway back here continues on, but it goes from like a nice polished stone to much more rough stone. There's a door here. And then there's a set of double doors right here. Maybe, maybe I should peek inside this door over here real quick. Okay. What is everybody else doing? See anything? I'm going to keep on going up. All right. So you and Dwyer are continuing down. Billy, you're following, please. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, are we going up or down? I'm so confused now. <laughs> uh, one set of stairs goes up, then it goes back down. Yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Dwarven architecture. This is why you never trust Dwarven <laughs> architecture. You gotta go, you gotta go, you know, up to go down, man. It's, you know, life. It's got ups and downs. <laughs> Alright, uh, so Cleese, you open this door, and it appears to be a, uh, a study. 
of some kind with lots of uh, books and scrolls and stuff, all kinds of, uh, on all the bookshelves and, and that line the walls and the desk in the center. Is there anything on the desk in the center that looks like it's open and was it currently being looked at? Yes. I would like to start there. All right. So first you see, uh, well, again, you see a couple things here. Um, one thing that you see is kind of like a, a, a layout of, um, like a, like a map layout of, of something. Um, it's not really well labeled. Uh, but it's nothing that you've seen so far, so you're not sure what exactly it's to. Is it big? Um, not really. I would like to take it. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, there is, uh, some recipes written down in another book. I'll take the recipe book. Okay. And then, um... Outside of that, that's the stuff that's on the table. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, uh, Billy. Let's let's give this place a quick uh, quick look over. I see what we can find. All right. You guys do searching a, the room. Yeah. Searching the shelves. We'll give it a quick once over. Right. Make sure there's no secrets. Uh, so you're looking for like secret rooms and traps, or like, or, or stuff, or what are you guys looking for? Just in general, anything that might be hidden. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. If there's like books, maybe it's kind of look for anything that looks expensive or nice or out of place. Okay, give me observation rolls. <laughs> or perception rolls. Okay, sixteen's. Oh wait. Uh, oh. Two. Twelve. Uh, most of the stuff seems pretty... Like, do you guys actually, uh, either of you, uh, know Dwarven specifically? It's not a common language on, on Rifts. I speak Spanish. Uh, no, that would... An American. Work. More yeah. or less the same, right? Yeah, I feel like they're both rooted in the same thing. <laughs> I speak American yeah. and Dwarven. Um, I do have a pocket language beats. translator. Yeah, I think that's more verbal, though. I can sound them out. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, I mean, all this stuff seems very foreign to you guys. Uh, it, it, you can't even really, I mean, you might be able to make out that some might be, uh, you know, architecture type style books. Some of them look like they, they might reference some kind of magic or something mystical or myths or something. Uh, uh, there's there's some you know there, it's a big library so there's all kinds of little things like that but there's not really anything that stands out uh, specifically to you guys. All right, well, take a note of it. Maybe we will we can come back and we tried. Have have Armored and take a look at it. He can, might maybe he can read. <laughs> <laughs> it it depends on how many drinks I get through. Speaking of which, I'm gonna take another drink. All right. Other than that, yeah, I think probably. Think I could have some of that. Arm. Is it the other? Yeah, room? sure. I'm, I'm gonna oh, wait, no, hold out my arm and just right. I'm just gonna keep on drinking until I am like gone. I, I, I. Dwyer doesn't want to feel anymore, and with this human physiology <laughs> now, I'm assuming it's not gonna take much. <laughs> You are now coated in tons and tons of mead. That's fine. He's just lying there like this. Oh, this, this, oh, this, oh, this. Oh, oh. <laughs> are you guys opening the door? Or are you guys waiting for your friends? We were drinking yeah, first. I just, I just, <laughs> important things first. I'm not rushing anymore. All right. I'm going to go through now. Okay. You open the door. And you see a large room. Uh, this is the throne room for Brumbledore. Shh, shh, shh. 
I think they're sleeping. Uh, there's blood and bodies everywhere. I think they were trying to paint yeah, I'm and good. they got tired. I'm gonna walk halfway through, just taking it all in. And then just take a long moment of drinking. Give me an observation roll, or a perception roll. I'm sure that's D20, that's right? Cool, Nate. Ar Armadan, this one, this one's so tired of sleeping with his eyes open. I. Yeah, he's real tired. Tired where he's not going to be waking up, my friend. Uh, Dwarf? Why? Did he forget to set an alarm? <laughs> Somebody put a snooze on for life. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should only put it on for five minute increments, otherwise it's not doing its job. <laughs> Get us more of that stuff from your suit. I'm just gonna not even look and turn and spray him with it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract you from your your investigator. Yeah. Big shot investigator. It, it definitely makes Ooh. sense with my eight. <laughs> There's so much blood, it's hard to tell anything from anything in this in this mess. I'm sure. So, do I see the king or and royalty? Uh, you'd have to really dig in there. Like, there's nothing like like you can't tell one from the other. With how mangled everything is at the moment uh, from the from where you're. Right, at. Can, I, can, can I hug a body and cleanse it? Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna just start going up to the bodies and hugging them. All right. Hence, cleansing them and. I can identify them then. Okay. As you're going around doing this, uh, why are you, this looks really freaking weird to you. Just hugging dead bodies and then... Especially <laughs> since I, I'm not of yeah. the right, right frame of mind. What do you... Uh, do you... Do you know those people that you're spooning? No! I'm trying to figure uh, that out, though. You... You can tell who they are just by spooning? Sort of, kind of. I mean... I don't know. It's not... Rungus used to... <laughs> Rungus used to spoon... He was big spoon. Oh. <laughs> um, Billy and Cleese. Uh, you guys have had some time now. What are you guys doing? Headed down the hallway, I think. Which way? Yeah, we'll go see what the rest Billy, of you guys muted. are doing. Yeah. Alright. It's fucking weird, dude. I don't <laughs> recommend you, it. You Whoa. Walk in. <laughs> There's a giant room with a big bloodbath uh, in the center of it. Tons of uh, dwarven bodies that Ermadin is picking up hugging, and then they're magically being cleansed. And and you can see their uh, their features much more clearly. I'd like to say that Dwyer is yeah, Dwyer is sitting next to one of the bodies, going, "And you just took it away from me." Is the I felt so one time I felt comfortable and I had a connection, and it's just gone. It's just gone. Do you know what that's like to have something so important to your life just taken from you like that? I think he knows what it's like to have his life taken from him. What? The body's head kind of like falls forward, and you think it's a nod, but you're not entirely sure. Yeah, see you get it. He get he uh he, he, he you know high five. You get it. You get it. he gets it, man. I don't feel good, guys. <laughs> uh, Erm. Here, why don't you uh why don't you drink this uh here's a, here's a bottle of bourbon to drown your sorrows. Oh, that is <laughs> so nice of you. And he just takes it and upends right, it. It's filled with tea. That's that was delicious bourbon. Most of the time, I drink bourbon makes my face go. <laughs> but that time, it did not. Oh, yeah, it's the good stuff. Ah, oh, this has been, been cheap. <clears throat> Erwin, after you get a few bodies in, uh, <laughs> roll me, roll me a twenty. <laughs> Uh, 
Me and Queens are just going to back out of the room slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I think they got this covered. <laughs> Roll you what? Okay. Do I get to put any bonuses nope. on it? All right, you got a ten. Uh, you find uh, as you're cleansing uh, what appears to be uh, a dwarf that is not in the uh, rubble door guard armor uh, that you cleanse. Is it this one? No, it's this one right here. It's this one? Yeah. Oh. I was already on him. That's why I me so, um, this one, uh, you can tell is, uh, the king's son. Oh. Oh, boy. I'm gonna search him. Um. I'm hoping I'm searching all of them that I'm cleansing, but, uh, my character has been drinking, so. I tell you what. Uh, through through searching uh, all the bodies and stuff, uh, let's see if chat wants to give you something special. So chat chat can right. chime in with something that you'll find. Now, to be fair, chat, I did roll an eight on my searching, and then a ten on my searching. So don't get too crazy, and don't. Oh, knuckle, knuckle sandwich, I think, I think is what Veej wants. Yeah, you you find it. One of the bodies just reaches up and punches. Better than a, he's open as long chest. as Dwyer finds the elder one, but it's broken in half. It's a sandwich made out of knuckles. All right, fair enough. That's weird. <laughs> weird, but who would who would make you know, such a terrible sandwich? I've, I've rifted to plenty of weird places before, so maybe no, there's knuckles. just a knuckle sandwich planet <laughs> or world or something. Me and Dwyer, me and Rungus used to make knuckle sandwiches for lunch. <laughs> I'm, I'm, He's never going to want to go on a picnic again. I'm definitely going to pick it up and be like, Dwyer, Dwyer, look. <laughs> I, I found food. <laughs> Not hungry. I'm only thirsty <laughs> for more booze. Uh, all right, I'll save it for Things later. Taste is good in this form. I can still feel, I I can feel some parts of my face. <laughs> You're not doing it right then. You need some more. Yeah. Uh You do find um, Bardus's uh. Like a like a his uh, what do you what do they call these things? Man, I'm at a loss for words. The seals, so that he can identify himself when he writes letters and stuff. Okay, I'm definitely going to take that and stash that. All right. Uh, uh, which one is it? There we go. Um. Also. Have you seen the Redeem in the one-liner? No, I did not see that. Yeah. There you go. Mr. Goliath. Oh, there it is. I, I just figured this was a great time for him to find it. Man, he's not looking for anything right right now except for some sort of validation that he's not gonna find talking to a dead body but he's gonna th think he did well as you you, you know you're sitting there talking dead to the dead body that that's a head kind of nodded towards you whatever uh you do see that it's holding uh something that looks like a wand in its hand is... kind of looks like a little uh stone baton I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna start doing this and I'm gonna go. <laughs> and I could have sworn that thing was broken in half by now. But anyway, um, so I I found the 
stamp crest of the uh, yes. house. Okay. So, you know, you could take that back to the king and be like, yeah, we found him. And, and it, that would be kind of like a, a symbol of proof. Okay. Um. Yeah, uh, can I'm going to finish up, you know, cleansing all the other bodies and then searching them. But I also want to search around the throne area. Okay. For any secret passages and and things like okay. that. Um, when you check the last body over here, uh, you can tell that one is uh, uh, Thevin uh, Deepbeard, the ruler of Bermeldor. Okay. So, did I boot anything off him? I mean, uh, did I find anything on him? Um, on him, just he's he's actually dressed in full uh, gear, like uh, as if he's you know prepared for a fight. Um, but so he's got his his typical armor stuff, but uh, he doesn't have anything valuable on him. Okay. He doesn't have his crown or any rings. Nope. Oddly enough, he doesn't Damn. have any of his, his uh, crown jewels. What a peasant king. Jesus. He's more of like a baron. More like a peasant. Jeez. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I would just continue trying to search the area around see if there's any secret passages. Alright. Do you have a skill for anything like that? Or anything that helps you with that? Mm, no, not really. Except for... I have underground architecture. But I don't really think that will help me in this case. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah no that that's probably the closest thing i i would have <laughs> i'll give oh, that a roll there's an encounter <laughs> dwarven architecture so 70 percent Sweet. Okay. So you um you start searching around. I mean, you, you see that there's five doors, but you're looking around for anything that might be secret or hidden. So you start wandering around, and uh, you don't find any um, doorways necessarily. But over here by one of the statues. You're able to, to find, like, there's a secret compartment at the base of the statue. And uh, when you, uh, you're able to, like, you, you know, you're familiar with their, semi-familiar with their, their uh, technology and their architecture. Uh, so you're actually able to find the release button and open it. And inside there is where all the jewels and stuff are hidden. It's not a whole lot. Um, grabbing, but yeah, I'm still yeah. grabbing all that. He wasn't a very super rich, but he was awarded land and and people to be in charge of. Yeah, it still would be great to give back to the king. Sure. I'm putting down king's jewels. What's everybody else doing? While oh, is doing all this searching around. Just kind of keeping on guard. <clears throat> yeah. I want to look through the recipe book. Oh, very good. <laughs> um, searching through the recipe book, uh, you 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 see that uh, again everything's written in dwarvish, so you can't read it necessarily. 
but the the symbols and stuff in there you can tell it looks like it's for cooking or making something uh and there's a lot of like mushrooms drawn in it so you can see that was a very heavy theme in inside this book can i identify the the mushrooms in there um, that are being drawn go ahead and give me the your identify plants and, and uh, okay. fruits and plants I got I got botany, identify fruits and plants, and whichever one is better for you. All right, I think we're looking for a sixty. Thirty-seven. Okay. So uh, this isn't anything you've ever seen before. It looks very similar to stuff that you you've seen, uh, but you can tell this is something that's probably uh, native to this world. Um, you know that uh, the stuff that you've seen that's similar to it. Uh, is frequently used uh, for uh, making drinks and things like that, like teas and, and stuff. Now that I've now that I've recognized the ones they're looking for, I would like to be on the lookout for those uh, mushrooms around, yeah. and if, if pick them if I see them. All right, everybody, give me a quick perception roll. Ten. Nineteen. Oops. Hold on. That makes sense. I rolled D one hundred by accident. Automatic fail. Fourteen. Okay. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Too harsh. Um uh, okay. Um so uh Billy uh from from this room here, you're, you've got your eye out. You're like, you... Something has you on edge. This is obviously a, a blood-filled, creepy room with lots of bodies. Is never a good sign. You've been on guard this whole time. Uh, and as you are kind of like scanning back and forth across the room, you see this body fly out from inside this room and lunge at Dwyer reaching for the, the wand that he found. I'm going to take a shot at him. Okay. Um. You infected Dwyer and Sid. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> so that was a six... Um, what are you firing with? Uh, the assault rifle. Okay. Uh, so, uh, it, it fires wide and it doesn't quite hit it. Uh, it runs off and, and kind of hits this pillar back here instead, smashing some of the uh, debris off of it. Um, everybody else, uh, does it, does it, like, uh, does it, is it go close enough to it, the wire that snaps him out of it and sees the threat? I'm going to leave that to Dwyer. Huh? <laughs> what? What? What do you want? Today's not the day to fuck with me. Let's go. All right. So you see it. Uh, let me reveal this room real quick. Now that the door is open. No. Doesn't look like that worked. There we go. Oh. Alright, yeah, everybody give me a um everybody roll for initiative. Initiative. I initiative. Twenty seven. Six. My, there we go. Oh, that's not my stat block. Sorry, I thought I had this thing lead out to the stats. Okay. 
plus two. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, what did everybody get? 20. Six. Seven. Twelve. Twenty. Hermitin got twelve. What did please get again? Six. And why are you, what did you get? Seven. But I got this cute squirrel. I have a better spirit ammo. And lost the love. Well, <laughs> we all got better than this thing. Uh, all right, Billy, you get to go again. You were that much aware of what was going I'll on. I'll take another shot. Oh, five. Here's my spirit. Do you have any bonuses? Yes, <laughs> it's a little herb. <laughs> um, I have plus three to. Um, uh, oh, seven. I got plus three aim shot, plus two aimed. Okay. So for an aimed, it, you could do it aimed, but it's going to give. Uh, it takes up two uh, of your actions to do. That's fine. Okay. Uh, all right. So you uh, fire your rifle at this thing. Uh, it hits it. But it doesn't seem like it does anything. Can it uh, fall back behind the pillar? No, that's where uh, the shot that he last took hit. Uh, my apologies. Uh, Arbidin, you're up. All right, I'm going to drink some more and charge up. I don't know how far I can go. So, What's your speed? I'm a dwarf is my speed. Uh, nine. Okay, so yeah, you can be just at the base of the steps. So yep. back one. Uh, wait, at the base yeah, or right at the top? Yep. Sorry. All right. All right. Do you want to do anything once you're there? Yeah. Ah, evil guy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that? that's very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dwyer. Um, I'm I'm gonna look at this thing and be like, not, not today thing and I'm going to cast energy field around its head try to suffocate okay. it try to breathe when you can't is there a, I guess it would be a dodge saving throw for something like that Yeah, because I'm aiming for I'm aiming for a space, yeah. and if he moves out of that space before I can cast it. Let's see here. What does he got for dodge? I don't think he's got anything for dodge. Just standard. Just, just your standard, standard dodge. dodge. Oh, he Ooh. flubs it. You get an energy field right around that head. All right. Yeah, suck on your own Please. exhaust. Um, I'm going to Is it heavy? assume that this is a vampire and draw my Colt 44 revolver and fire a shot at him. Okay, roll your strike. Twelve. Twelve. That'll hit. Roll your damage. All right. I'll have a D6 here. Twenty-two. 
All right. And it's a, it is a silver bullet, if that matters to you. It does matter to me. Everything matters to me. Uh, you shoot this thing, and it leaves uh, a quite a, a burning hole through this thing's chest. Um, <clears throat> you guys, uh, now that, that, that the immediacy of what happens has happened, you guys now all recognize this as vampires. You've all come across these before. Actually, Ermin, have you come across vampires before? I don't know if you have. I have. Yeah, at, at the beginning of my campaign, we uh, raided a cave full of them that actually hid my hammer and a, um, right. thankfully, long lost staff that was evil. Right, right. I don't ever want to see that again. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yeah, you guys would all recognize this as, as a what was called a wild vampire, one that looks a little bit more savage, a little less civilized than. Uh, than the normal, uh, more fancy vampires. You know, the ones that glitter in the sunlight or whatever it is they do. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this thing, uh, you know, he, he gets hit with this hole and he kind of grabs his chest and, and, uh, he says, Voldemort needs a wand. And he takes a swipe at Dwyer. Mm, 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 mm. There's no combat bonus for that. Uh, it is a very weak hit. swipe. It hit. <laughs> it's like the lethal damage. I've, so, so everything <laughs> I've rolled for this vampire, he got a natural one for initiative. Yeah, yeah. He got, um, uh, what was the other one for? Something. It was else. another one. Yeah. Uh. Oh, it's for a saving throw. Got a one for a saving throw, or his dodge, rather. And then now a two for the strike. You guys, you guys see is like, the, the vampire's claws are coming, like, really slowly. <laughs> like, just like a dumb idiot. And Dwyer just steps a few steps in front of it and goes, yeah, come on. Do it. Come on. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm oh waiting. God, it sounds like you're sobering up. All right. And Billy. Now you got a good look at this thing. Um, can I um, try to run up on it and use my um, forearm vibro blades and stick them through the head? Whoa, now's not the time for vibrators, man. <laughs> it's always the time for vibrators. Yes. Yeah, it's a serious problem. Uh, yeah, Veej, as they as as they say, uh, that that is a vibe, okay? <laughs> right? Uh, so you use your vibra blades and you take a swipe, and and as you uh, hit this this vampire with it, uh, they it, it it does more like a punch. It doesn't actually penetrate the vampire. Armadin. All right, let's show them how it's done. So I'm going to go up to them and smash them with a hammer. Okay. Roll your strike. I hope I hit. I hope I hit. 17? 17 is a hit. Sweet. That's me rolling a four. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I, I actually did that wrong. Um, it would be a 11 hit. Sorry about that. What's it? 11, you said? Uh, I accidentally put a pu plus 13 instead of plus 7. Oh, okay. So I rolled a 11, technically. Um, I have to 
double check something here. So you, uh, you still hit with the with the hammer. Uh, however, again, much like uh, Billy's vibrant blades, it doesn't seem to do anything. What? We've all had that problem before. <laughs> Hold on. What'd you What'd you use? His hammer. My my hammer. Is it magical? My hammer hurts everything. What? Does it do anything against Supernatural specifically? Um, you tell me. Uh, You're the one that I beat the hammer. It does. I, I have a magic mace that does stuff against Supernatural. If you need to borrow one. Toss it over! I will hurl my magic mace at Ermitage. We'll do that in a second. Because Dwyer goes first. <laughs> You're standing yeah. there in T-pose. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I don't have anything silver. I don't have any water. You guys didn't prepare for fighting vampires very well, did you? <laughs> no, we dwell, you know, in, in the preparation Why? phase for this mission, uh, uh, three of us took, uh, uh, drank a lot and then took drugs. So, uh, missed opportunity, I guess. Oh, I have an idea. I mean, the last time I fought vampires, the hammer worked. So, I, I, I call, I call Rungus on the radio and tell him to bring the crate of water balloons. Well, you guys also have two crates of silver weapons at the, uh, King gave you. I don't want to <laughs> hear his voice. It's too soon. It's you don't have soon. to listen to it. You just have to tell him to bring it. <laughs> Telling Rungus to do things that used to be my favorite thing to do. Now I don't. Just tell him! I don't even have a radio. I don't know why you guys are yelling at me to do this. <laughs> Uh, I know it's my turn, but I can't. I can't make a radio out of nothing. What can you do? Um, <laughs> I can. Wood works well if you stab him through the heart. Uh, do I have anything wood? I have pen. I'm gonna take a pencil out of my bag and I'm gonna try to stab the uh the vampire okay. with it. Give me a roll. You can try. try. Unfortunately, the sharp part is the lead, and that's what gets you. The wood part's the dangerous part to him. The lead is... Huh. No, it's actually graphite, bro. Stop using leads and pencils a long time ago. <laughs> Mine's delayed. What'd you get? Oh, I mean, that's yeah. I'm supposed. Yeah, you got to roll. Oh, well, <laughs> sorry, I was being accosted. I yeah, didn't know. It. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, what what do I roll for this to hit? Is it a d20? Would I would I add anything to that if I've got like uh nope uh I don't think I have anything that I can add to that. Okay, eighteen. 18 okay, that's still a good. That's roll. a good roll. You know what? Yeah. I think um. It's four weeks since I did all my prep for this, and I gotta remember what all the uh, specifics are, but I think that actually works. Dixon Ticonderoga for all your vampire hunting needs. I think, I think it was like an 18, 19, or 20 is what you needed. We'll say that. Uh, Alright, yeah, you're able to get this pencil right in, in the heart of this thing, and it just kind of looks at you, does this, and then just falls over. Yeah, now you know how it feels to lose the one thing you love. And we're out of initiative order. Bitch. Uh, that's, um... Uh, uh, 
John Wick shenanigans right there. Who? Ah, uh, it's American movie. Who? <laughs> Aren't we here on your planet? Why are you so shit based? <laughs> what? Are, are we helping? What? Are you not taking this seriously? Ah, uh, no. I'm. I'm. I, I, I'm, sorry, I'm starting to feel like you're not taking this I, job seriously. I, I'm respecting the dead here. It's been a lot of drinks. I'm, I'm... Sharon, be quiet. There's sleeping dwarves. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Be quiet. I don't think they're sleeping anymore. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm going to go off and check the room that he came out of. Okay. Uh, so you go in there, and it looks like it's some kind of, like, um, a room that was designed for, uh, like, a, a, a priest or cleric. It's very humble. Um, you know, there's some... some uh, uh, just some simple beddings and things like that. Uh, on the table... <laughs> Okay. Is Here actually a book. <gasps> oh boy. Um and you can read dwarvish, so you can tell that this is actually uh looks like it's a spell book. Oh nice. I'm gonna pocket that. Alright. Oh what's the uh title of it? Uh chat, give me a good title. <sighs> what what kind of book is it? It's a spell book. A Alright, I'm ready. Wizardry spell book What's of the, the unknown. Oh. Is there is there a spell in that book to turn someone from a <laughs> disgusting human into a beautiful blue sea? Burn it if not. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. I've got more things to look on. Uh, I'm going to proceed to the next room. Which room is that? What's the closest room? Oh, uh, well, there's a door to the south of the one you used to The one right below yeah. me? Oh, great. I'll go into that okay. one. Okay. Roll me a d20. Oh. 19. Okay. As you grab the handle and turn the knob... You hear some clicking noises that you recognize, again, triggering your memory of the traps that Dwarf set. And you step back uh, to the side out of the way. Shouting for! And underneath the door, like, uh, like where the frame of the door is, the floor drops and spikes shoot out straight across. So if you'd been standing there, you would have fallen down in, or you would have the, the floor would have dropped below you and spikes would have went into your ankles alrighty well I'm gonna go in while I'm drinking alright let me reveal this area what's everybody else doing coping <laughs> It doesn't sound like it. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to Dwyer and hand him a gun. Say, say, if anything gets too bad, use this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> veto. 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 What is the... Uh, um, this... Silver, silver bullets in oh, here? Oh, no, this is a healing gun. Oh, well, I don't want any of that. Is anybody hurt? I mean, outside of the soul-crushing hurt of losing the love that you thought you would have one day. That hurt can't be healed with a bullet. We, well, we, we, we don't actually know he doesn't love you. Yeah, you're right, but I mean, you saw the way he looked at Alungus when we were on that planet. He wants a blue sea. Uh, maybe it's only temporary. I don't think he knows what he wants yet. Maybe maybe there's, there's plenty of time. 
I appreciate what you all are trying to do. I really do. And maybe sometime in the future, I'll be more receptive to it. But right now, I, I really don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. And then Dwyer's going to get up. And he's going to walk out of the room. Which way? Ooh, okay. All right. What's everybody else doing? I'm going to follow him. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check this door for traps and then check the door. All right. Check the door for traps. I'm going to also check door. Are oh, you going to leave the hallway? Yeah, yeah. I was just seeing what was okay. down there. Just want to confirm. Yeah, don't want to split the group. Too much. I don't care what you want. He <laughs> going to do it anyway. <laughs> All right. What'd you get for uh, checking for traps there, please? Uh, is that just perception? Uh, yeah. If you don't have anything specific, then yeah. Perception. Six. Uh, it seems fine. I right. declined to search for traps, and I just want to open up the door. You just open it? I'll push the door open. <laughs> All right. Um, both rooms are very similar to the other room that, that had the spell book in it. Uh, they're both uh, very humble, uh, but they don't have books in them. They're just, you know, just very simple things. Some people in this religious room are symbols. Stupid. Couldn't read. Hey, Dwyer, have you ever thought about becoming religious? Uh, you say that, you turn around, and you see that Dwyer's no longer there. Oh, I have telepathy. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> oh, that's right. I keep forgetting you have telepathy. Yeah, I, even though I would turn yeah. around and see you're not there, I would still ask the same question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get, out, get out of my head. It's where Rungus lives. This is what Dwyer... Is, is what, is what, what, what Rungus would say. <laughs> oh, please. What am I going to do? We might have some blue paint back in the van. <laughs> we'll save that as a last resort. A dark cosplay. <laughs> All right. It'll look like an airbender. <laughs> when do I get to fuck the tree? <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Hey. Anything else anybody wants to do? <laughs> <laughs> for hard as the fuck's a tree. No, I'm, I'm just trying to help you get through this stuff. This, I'm not coming on to you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Agreed with Chad. You know, you want some Beach, Look, juice. I, I didn't, I, I did not, I did not bring that movie into the world. Okay, you can, you can talk to James Cameron about that. My character is going to take my own sit on the bed. Okay. And I'm going to take everything in, just start drinking, and uh, I'll be right back. All right. Please, are you checking the last room? Yeah, I'll check the last room. Okay. I'm going to check for traps again. All right. Roll. 14. Uh, again, you're pretty confident there's nothing there. All right. And same thing. Just another uh, priest room that's fairly barren and, and very modest. Um. All right, Dwyer. So you're you're wandering back towards the entrance. Okay. Yeah. What did the guy? Oh, good. Dwyer. His. I think it's in his intention. He. He. He really liked his little emo moment where he was sitting on that uh, that uh, walkway overlooking the water. So he's gonna he's gonna go back there. Okay, you'll be able to get there uninhibited and, and, and have a seat. Perfect. And what's everybody else doing? Erm, you're sitting on the bed drinking, Billy. I'm just gonna look to see if I can find anything worth keeping or taking, laying around. Yeah. Just kind of general 
scouting around. So it would kind of depend on what, what you're looking for. I mean, you can tell that um, uh, these guys weren't prepared to fight vampires. So their weaponry isn't silver. They're, they're, you know, much like the uh, the stories go, not wood or silver. So uh, it's probably a good reason they got slaughtered in this in this fight. Uh, you don't see any signs other than the vampire that you guys have staked. You don't see any other signs of any other vampires. And Cleese, you know that more has to be done with this vampire in order to fully extinguish it. Oh, that's right. We do have to do stuff to get rid of these. It's Cleese, uh, if, if there's all these bodies and all this blood, and if they're vampires, why wouldn't they have drank all their blood and fed off of them? Uh... Well, there might be something they're going for, and they're just trying to make their way quickly, and they'll come back. Um, a lot of times, some feral vampires will just rip through people, um, just because they don't give a shit. Uh, it's pretty... It is kind of weird that they weren't feasted on more, but... Oh, you, also yeah, strange. you two odd. give me intelligence rolls. Let's see if this is something you guys will pick up on. That IQ. Yeah. And if you have a 16 uh, or higher, four. I'll give you a bonus on the roll. Alright, I don't. Oh, I got a 20, though. Okay. Nice. So, in your experience, Cleese, you, you, you spent some time with magic users before. So, you know mm -hmm. that sacrificing people can also draw out their potential psychic energy which is what vampires often will use vampire intelligences will use when they're trying to open portal they need large amounts of PPE well so it seems like in my experience they're probably doing trying to open a portal somewhere Seems, seems bad. Vampire intelligence is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think we should destroy this vampire before it comes back to life. How would you like to do that? All right. Uh, I would. I need to sever the head and then burn the head and the body in two separate piles. Sounds like a lot of work. Cut the heads off. All the heads can be in one pile and all the bodies can be in another pile, but they can't be in, the heads and the body can't be in the same pile. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the vibra blades aren't going to cut through the skin. You're going to need God something that's, damn it. that's silver or, or wood. Did they give me any there wood not or silver knives? I have this wooden spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it still needs to be sure. Um, I would argue with enough force you could cut with a spoon. Yeah. Can I tie my garret cord around its head and just keep squeezing until it pops off? Is it silver coated? Nah, let's try that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 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 not going to be able to. Worst that could happen. Yeah, because again, if it was silver, it would work, but because it's not silver. It's just kind of hitting resistance when it gets to the neck. Ah, oh, crap. I lost audio. Oh, but they wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry, I lost audio there for a second. What was that? I have some I have some spikes in my inventory. Spikes? Um, yeah, are they wood? Um, or are they like metal spikes? I would think they were probably metal spikes. I'm assuming they're for like, like camping. Oh, for like uh, like tent spikes, you mean? I'm assuming that's what they are. So they're probably big spikes, but I'm wondering if they're wooden. Oh, uh, 
Um, you know, we haven't used them yet, so if, if you want to say they're wooden, I'll say they're wooden. All right, let's uh, let's try to use one to drive it through their neck. Okay. Try to separate their neck that way. Feed you it takes animal. a little bit of time, but you're, you're, you guys are able to, to functionally get that the neck separated. Yep. All right, man. Here's your your uh, your neck, your head. I mean. All right. Let's. Uh... <laughs> put a... You start. You I have start some firing flares. We could start a fire with. I'll start a fire over here. Wait. Feed. You just wait until I get that. Oh. You just wait. I have. I have a flare. The, the flare would be. The flare might be, good, be enough. Yeah. yeah. To be able to start a fire with a flare. It might take a little work, yeah. but we can make it happen. They're pretty flammable bodies. We. Yeah. We yeah. started the fire. Yeah. Luckily, the place is made of asks. stone, so probably won't spread too much. All right. Yeah, we'll flare we'll do a little flare up and start a fire. All right. You guys are able to successfully burn this body and head separately and extinguish the potential for this thing to regenerate. Uh, I'm going to slide over to Dwyer in his uh, pondiferous mm-hmm. moment out by the water. Uh, you see something shiny in the water. Hmm. Hmm. What's that? Looks like a dagger. I'll reach down and get it. It's <clears throat> silver plated. What is this? Yeah. You know, old me would have loved this, but. Fuck it. <laughs> I just chuck it as hard as I can in any direction. And with that, <sighs> we'll end the session. <laughs> pick up next time. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you mind finding me a raid uh, while I? Uh, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Outro here. Uh, so first of all, thanks everybody for your participation, and thank you audience for your participation. Lots of good uh, suggestions in there and redemptions. Uh, I can't wait to look up some stats and actually get them some uh, some real information on these things. Uh, so with that, uh, if you enjoyed and it's the first time uh, watching us, please hit the follow button down at the bottom right hand side of the screen, and tune in uh, with some of our other shows. Uh, tomorrow uh, at 6.30 p.m. we have uh, Give Me Solo and a Cookie where uh, Simon and and Rufus will continue their AI-generated adventures. Uh, I've tuned in once or twice. It's pretty entertaining. You guys should check it out and uh, and give them lots of support and and they like uh, Redemptions too. So uh, then we return uh, not Sunday, uh, but Monday. We return Monday for Solar Patrol, I believe, right? Solar Patrol this week? Can't even keep track of our schedule right now. Uh, that's at 8.30 p.m. Uh, so as the cast, uh, uh, I'm not even sure what you guys are doing anymore. There was, there was a hot dog thing and some some triple spies and uh, things have just gone so off the rails. I, can't, mm-hmm. I don't even know. Time traveling Nazis. So if uh, any of those things appeal to you, <laughs> there's the... come check it out. Yeah, yeah we're on the on moon. The uh, so yeah, check that out. That's a lot of fun. Tuesday is um, 6 p.m. is uh, the Conan. Uh, they start their chapter three. Uh, it was supposed to start last week, but wasn't able to. Uh, so it's going to be start this week. And then uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Back to the lands of Barovia with some more vampires. Maybe we'll see. Something's got happen. Something big is getting ready to happen. It's been too quiet too long. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, it definitely has uh, been. And then um, next week, we will be back next week. Uh, and and since uh, we we have uh, the season end of Star Wars, and we haven't started our superhero thing yet, we will just continue with the riffs until we bust through it, so that we can get closer to Alien season two and the superhero campaign. Oh, 
We're out. Oh, we're done? Why? Bye, YouTube. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>